Hello again. Now, more than 1.2 million people in Gauteng are still in the queue to get housing. The province's human settlements, MEC Lebohang Maile, says some of these applications date back to 1996. Let's discuss this further now with Mr. Maile joining us via Zoom. Good afternoon, Mr. Maile. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome to today on ENCA. That's quite a big backlog, 1.2 million people, and I guess it's been adding up every year since 1996. Uh, good afternoon, Praden, and uh, thanks for having us. We also like to greet the uh, viewers at home. Indeed, it's a huge uh, uh, backlog um, uh, for a number of reasons, including in migration. Uh, we know there's a lot of people who come to Gauteng uh, every year, and that uh, puts a huge strain on the services that we provide as government, not just on uh, housing, uh, including on uh, schools and the health and other social services that we provide as a provincial government. Now, migration is not going to stop. Therefore, there will be increasing pressure as we move forward. How are you planning to deal with this backlog? It's, it's true that uh, uh, migration won't stop, uh, and that's why we are looking at several interventions um, <clears throat> as government, firstly, uh, but secondly, working with the private sector, because uh, some of the uh, people qualify to get bonds, uh, but some of them are what we may call the missing middle, uh, who might be working but might not qualify. And uh, some of them, it's people who don't want to necessarily uh, own houses, but they want to rent, they want rental stock. Uh, others want to build for themselves. And that's why our strategy uh, is obviously based on understanding the challenge or the problem, and it's responding to that. And hence, we've got... Um, uh, social housing, we've got rental stock, we've got uh, bonded houses. And of course, there's what we is commonly known as RTP, which is giveaways. And um, with the <coughs> giveaways, I think we have to rethink uh, our strategy in terms of uh, who we want to give uh, so that it's not everyone. Uh, because to give everyone, even people who can afford to build themselves, um, it's not helping. That's why we also have what we call a rapid land release program, where we give people stands. And these stands are fully serviced. They've got water, they've got electricity, there is a sewer connection, there's roads. And they also get um, building plans. As you know, to build a house, it's a... Uh, it starts with the uh, architectural work, and that is a cost on itself. So we have um, uh, designed about seven different, uh, 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 or rather we have seven different designs which people can choose from uh, so that you don't impose uh, it, certain designs. Yeah. On now, let's, let's talk about numbers uh, for a while. 1.2 million people. How many units i mean you've mentioned the land issue that you are releasing rapidly and that is fully serviced and you are affording people a choice of number of architectural plans before they build but generally i mean how many units are you able to deliver fully fully completed homes for people who are waiting well the number of units we're able to deliver is dependent on the budget we receive uh, and uh, when you look at the uh, uh, plus million people who need houses. It, it means we need uh, just over a trillion rent to deal with that backlog. So perhaps the question will be, with what we receive, are we able to achieve those numbers and deliver? Yes, we are doing our level best, and depending on how much we get, because the budget fluctuates, uh, okay. and because the... Has not been doing well, as you know, 
the budget has been reduced uh, uh, in the last uh, few years. In so your, that number in your, depends. Yeah. On how in your declined, give us a picture, your declining budget currently, you're sitting with a budget. How many, for example, this year would you be able to deliver? How many units? Uh, I think this year we're looking at about 12,000, if I'm not mistaken, between 12 and 14,000 that we're supposed to, to deliver the actual houses. Uh, that does not include the stands. With the stands, it would probably be 10,000, if I'm not mistaken. So all in all, you're looking at uh, 14,000 so. Um, okay. The number must be... So are you going to, are you going the, to prioritize? Yeah, are you going to... Are you going to prioritize certain categories of people? I would imagine some of the people who've been waiting since 1996 would be senior citizens maybe by today, and they can't wait to die before they want to get a house. No, you are correct. And that's why one of the uh, decisions we've taken was that we must look on the, um, uh, the housing needs register. How many... Uh, elders are there, uh, at least those between the ages of 70 and above. Uh, we have been able to go through that exercise. Uh, we have asked our team to do that because we wanted to know if we can be able to give all of them houses by, uh, by the end of this term. It, it looks possible, and that's why soon we will make an announcement on how we are going to deal with that. Definitely looking at that. But secondly, you've got orphans and child-headed households. You've got people living with disability. So we will be able to prioritize uh, the most vulnerable. And as I've said uh, earlier on, um, the, 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 those who need uh, these services or the houses, they have got different needs as well. Others want to rent, others want to uh, build for themselves and all that. So okay. here I'm talking about people who can't help themselves at all. But you also have the private sector through our mega settlement um, projects where they are investing in building mixed uh, typologies, which will help us to also okay. meet uh, Months because we will not be able to have uh, sufficient money as the uh, government uh, to yeah. meet the demand. Okay, very briefly, if you are able to answer this question as a yes or a no, is it really just a question of the budget or there's also some level of incompetence on the delivery of houses for the people who've been waiting since 1996? A combination of factors beyond the two, the two uh, uh, contribute but you also have um, uh, you, you you also have corruption uh, playing part uh, you also have systematic issues um, you also have um, uh, issues of uh, people selling the houses so it's a combination it's not just okay a, a, a straightforward matter yeah it's it's a complex picture thank you very much for your time and your your explanations that's lebo khang maile he's the mec for human settlements here in the province of gauteng just outlining to us how they are planning to deal with a housing backlog which currently sits at over 1.2 million uh, units of people since um, since 1996